remember when we are asked to graph, so the question here is asking us to graph. So first I have to see what this denominator is all about, and I see an x plus 5 and an x minus 3. Do not rush to simplify. Definitely not before you start your table. That's very important. So my, my structure has moved. Okay, so um, I'm going to start the table on the next page. So f prime, f of x in the middle, and the second derivative last. So I know that the function is undefined at negative 5 and at positive 3. If the function is undefined, its derivatives will be undefined. These bars mean that I cannot put anything in there. I cannot write under negative 5 anything for any of these in any of these rows. And now I can simplify. And we already remember, I hope, that x plus 5 stays as a factor, which means negative 5 is a vertical asymptote, but x equals 3 is a hole in the graph. The factor went away, but the function is still undefined. So it has to be a hole in the graph. Then, so let me copy this simple function here. Then my next step is I have to determine the, these limits and find where the function is uh, 0. But the function is never 0. f of x can never be 0. A fraction is 0 if the top is 0. but that's not possible. Then um, when I plug in 0, which I have to, I get 1 fifth. But now I have to determine these limits. I know that when I, when I calculate the limit as x approaches infinity or x approaches negative infinity from 1 over x plus 5, we know that this is 0. That makes y equals 0 a horizontal asymptote. I put everything in the table so I don't forget about anything. Now I have to determine these limits and then this limit here, which has to be the same. It's a whole. So then limit as x approaches 3 from the left of 1 over x plus 5 is 1 over 8. The other one will still be 1 over 8. Look at all these numbers, well, how tiny they are, just to torture me. Okay, and now these, we know that these have to be infinities, but I don't know the sign. So limit as x approaches negative 5 from the left of 1 over x plus 5, and then limit as x approaches negative 5 from the right from 1 over x plus 5. I know they have to be infinities, but I don't know the sign. So negative 5 from the left is negative 5.1, so this is negative. Negative 5 from the right is negative 4.9, so this is positive. So then this is negative and this is positive. At this point, I'm done with this. There is nothing else I can find about the function from the function itself. Now I'm ready to move on to the first derivative. So when I differentiate, I write this. For me, it's more convenient to differentiate a power than a ratio with a 1 in the numerator. So then f prime will be negative 1 over x plus 5 to negative 2. I should have written that times the inner function prime, which is 1. So this is always a number less than 0, never 0. So which means that the function is always decreasing on all its domains. So that's all I needed to know. At this point, I have to make sure that these two, these two go well together. This is the moment of truth in a way because I know I can find my mistakes now. From 0 to negative infinity, yes, that's correct. From infinity to 1 fifth, yes, that's correct. From 1 fifth to 1 over 8, yes, it is smaller. From 1 over 8 to 0, yes, it is smaller. So now the two rows work well. Let's find the second derivative. 
So the first derivative is negative x plus 5 to negative 2. And now I differentiate it again. Negative with a negative will be 2, x plus 5 to negative 3 times the inner function prime, which is 1. So this is 2 over x plus 5 cubed. Careful, because this is not always positive. It could also be negative. To the left-hand side of negative 5 is negative. To the right-hand side, you can plug in numbers if you want, is positive. So here we say it holds water, and here it does not. Only after I completely fill up my table, I'm ready to graph it. Okay, so um, forgive me, these numbers are tiny, tiny, so uh, I'm not going to be able to graph that. Exactly, it's not possible. Okay, at negative 5, there is a vertical asymptote. So this is x equals negative 5. Also, y equals 0, that's an overkill. So y equals 0 is a horizontal asymptote. At 0 is 1 fifth. Who, who knows where to plot that? OK, I'm going to say that that's 0, 1 fifth. And at 3 is smaller, but it's an open point. OK, opening down, decreasing from 0 to negative infinity. OK, no problem. Coming from positive infinity, going through this point, going through the hole, approaching zero. No problem. So this is f of x, x minus 3 over x squared plus 2x minus 15. Any questions? Is this what you meant, Hersh? Yeah, that was perfectly well. Thank you. Is there anything else we want to work on? Anything else? Can you finish the homework by Thursday so we can work on more problems? I have a question how you got the limit as x approaches 5. Not 5, negative 5. Oh, negative 5. When you plug in five in the negative five in the denominator, you get zero. So it's one over zero. One over zero is always DNE, positive infinity, or negative infinity. So negative five from the left is negative five point one. Negative five from the right is negative four point nine. So that's why we have here x equals negative five, a vertical asymptote. Is that OK? Yes. So you just plug in infinity because? No. I plug in negative 5 from the left, negative 5.1. Negative 5 from the right, negative 4.9. This is negative 5. I plugged in negative 5.1 and negative 4.9. When I plug in negative 5.1, I get negative infinity. It's 1 over 0. 1 over 0 is always infinity or negative infinity.
or DNE, but in this case, it's negative infinity. When I plug in negative 4.9, negative 4.9 plus 5, both of them are positive, so it's positive. Here I have positive over negative, here I have positive over positive. Okay, what I meant by when you plug in infinity, I was just saying, I meant that you plug in infinity because it's a vertical asymptote, right? I cannot plug in infinity. This set. Plug in, I mean, it equals to infinity. Yes. So when x approaches negative 5 from the left, the function approaches negative infinity. When x approaches negative 5 from the left, the function values approach negative infinity. And when the x values approach negative 5 from the right, the function values approach infinity. OK, thank you. Better? Yeah. Perfect. Anything else? Please also look at um, the previous tests that I had last semester. They are posted for a long time ago, since, I don't know, two, two months ago. And let me know if you have any questions. Is there anything else you would like to work on?